I found a great little free website. It's called ai-draw.tokyo slash en slash. So I imagine there's different languages, but I'm using the English version and it's pretty straightforward to use. I can make a line drawing here simply by clicking this get started button. Now there are ads on the site. It is a free website. So bear with me here as I might have to close out a few ads. I'm going to click get started. And then it says here, step one of three, select image. And I'll select the image right from my computer. Now the image that I'm grabbing is from a site called Pexels. It's a free website where you can grab commercially available images. So here is a punk rock skull that is like a graffiti design. So it's preparing now under step one. And if I scroll on down to step two, we'll see that it's loading in now and it's starting to draw the skull. What I really like about this is I've made no modifications to the original image. The original image has punk rock at the top. It's got white along the right hand side and the bottom, but the AI is not picking that up at all. It's simply creating a skull based on the base image of the face, which I think is really cool. Now there's a pro mode as well underneath. You can click and you can change the background color to black or white. Right now it's sitting at white. There's also different canvas and pen colors. So you can have quite a bit of fun trying out all the different options. There's also different resolutions as well. I do want to warn you, if you try the two resolution or the 1.5 resolution, it may poop out your computer. My computer's humming pretty good here just doing the one, but it's creating a pretty good looking line item. Now, I'm going to download this. What you don't want to do is download it as a GIF because if you download it as a GIF, that's a graphic interchange file and it's going to show the actual drawing. It's like an animation of the drawing. What you want to do instead is download it as an SVG. It's located right there. I'm going to click SVG and that's now going to give me an option to download this. Now it looks really tiny, right? But remember, a, a scalable vector graphic, an SVG file, is infinitely scalable. So I'm simply going to right click this, I'm going to click Save Image As, and I'm going to type in Skull Vector and then save it as an SVG file. Now I'm going to go into Inkscape. Inkscape is a vector software tool that's completely free to download. I'm going to go here to File and then I'm going to open my Skull Image. So here I'm going to open my skull vector, not the original file, that's the JPEG. I'm going to open my skull vector, which is a scalable vector graphic. And we can see here now it's populated and it really is a scalable vector graphic. It actually has nodes. When I go to the left hand side and click edit paths by node, if I click inside, we can see there's a whole bunch of different lines that make up this design. It's pretty crystal clear here too. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. So if you want to highlight all of the nodes, then you would simply click control A and that you can see now all the nodes have been highlighted. You can also change the color of this if you wanted as well. So down at the bottom, there's a color palette and you can make this any color you choose. Now, if you're not getting the whole thing changed, then you may have a stroke issue. So you'd want to double check that and click on the stroke and then go over here to stroke paint and make sure that this is turned off. So you want to have fill and stroke. So here I'm going to turn off my stroke fill and now we can see the whole thing is now pink. So if you've got that weird second color, just double check on the bottom left. You might have a stroke going on there depending on your previous projects. So I'm really happy with the way this looks. I'm going to change it back to black. So what I'm going to do here is select it, select control A that will highlight everything. And then I'm going to go here to fill and I'm simply just going to change this now to black. And we can see now the whole item changes. You can also see the number of paths, the number of nodes down in the object. So down at the very bottom it says 6392 objects selected. So there's a lot of nodes there. I certainly wouldn't use this as a cut file, but it looks fantastic for what I'm about to do next, which is export this as a PNG. So I'm going to scroll out, zoom out, and I'm going to select all, which is the uh, control A. And then over on the right hand side, I'm going to select export PNG. And then from here, I want to make sure my selection is selected. And then I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to make this bigger. And you can see that the width and the height are changing. I'm also going to change the dots per inch to 300. This is going to give me a very high quality PNG file. I'm going to make this get bigger and bigger. Scroll it on out. And we can see there I've got a little over 6,000 and 7,800 is my height and my width. The DPI is 300. Now I'm going to export this. So down at the bottom right, you've got export PNG as my option. I'm also going to select the path and I'm going to type in skull big and then I'm going to hit save and you'll see along the bottom right, it's starting to export and it doesn't take very long. 
Okay, so now my entire image is now exported as a PNG, which with, has a transparent background, which is really nice. I'll close out of this. Now I'm in Photoshop, but you could use Affinity Photo. You could even stay in Inkscape if you wanted. And what I'm about to show you is optional, but here I've got a Merch by Amazon blank canvas. It's 5400 by 4500 pixels. I'm gonna go File in Place. And I'm going to select my PNG file, which is the very big file with the transparent background. We can see there now, it looks fantastic. Now I could just use this as a t-shirt file, just like that. I could just simply upload it to Merch by Amazon and tag it with some skull tag words. But you could also take this to the next level as well. If you wanted to make a fine art print, for example, you could download in a background as well. So here, for example, is a canvas print. I've got backgrounds that I've grabbed from sites like Pexels, Creative Fabrica, that kind of thing. I'm simply gonna move the canvas underneath. And then for the skull, I'm just gonna move him now to say soft light. And what that does is it eats into the actual layer. I'm just gonna duplicate that layer. And I might do this just a couple times, maybe three of them total. And I can see now this looks like an actual layer of paint or fabric it like, looks like it's been screen printed in and depending on the background you can really have some cool effects here's a concrete a weathered concrete look for example and here's a clean concrete look I'm going to zoom this into 100% so we can see just how clean this is using the powers of Photoshop, Inkscape, and the line art tool, we've made ourselves a really nice looking design. This would look fantastic on a really large art print that could sit in somebody's house. I did want to point out two, I think, pretty important things. Number one, this is ad driven. So if you do use this website, it's going to take what they call cookies. It's going to take your browsing history. It's going to look at stuff and it's going to populate ads. So I just wanted to point that out that I did notice that. And then down at the bottom, there are terms of use. Now I don't speak uh, this language. So I will point out that on another similar website by the same artist, this artist's name is Sato and he's got buy Sato a coffee. So I'll put the link in the video description. I would recommend purchasing these for commercial use, uh, even though it doesn't specifically say that on the AI drawing website, at least not in English anyway. But I did want to point out that I'm a big fan of trying to support artists and I think this is a great tool. So I would highly recommend checking it out. It is free to use, really cool website. And I really like using it because I can create all sorts of really cool art effects with it. Thanks a lot for watching.